Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button, also subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest of boxing. If you want to become part of the notification gang gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the super chats, the channel donations, the Patreons, the Venmos. We are working, people. Now, I want to give you guys this update. Lamont Peterson, veteran fighter. He moved up to welterweight in February. I was at his fight. It was on the Broner Granados card in Cincinnati. Showtime deal. And he won that fight to become the WBA interim or regular champion. One of the two. And it was just announced that he sent a letter to the WBA relinquishing his belt. Thanking them for their, their time and he's getting rid of the belt he's relinquishing it for whatever reason i'm not sure but that is the latest now a little bit interesting because that when he beat david avanesian in february that he looked good in that fight looked sharp at welterweight became the wba either regular or interim champion and he was supposed to get a shot at keith thurman who is the wba super champion right and now him getting rid of the belt leads people to speculate that he might be fighting errol spence jr so that's one thing i heard i don't know how true it is i haven't heard it from any of my sources but some people speculate he might be fighting errol spence jr and as a result he wouldn't be able to to have the whatever title defense or whatnot so he's getting rid of the belt i just did a video the wbc has announced that Keith Thurman is returning in January. They released a tweet on their verified page. Um, maybe he gets a Keith Thurman fight in January. I don't know. So we're going to have to wait to see how this all unfolds. But there's definitely some options. Danny Garcia rematch. It looks like Garcia might fight Brandon Rios. I would be up for a, a Lamont Peterson rematch. The first fight was a close one. And I want to see it at the new weight. Amir Khan. Versus Lamont Peterson is definitely a possibility. That was a close first fight, kind of a dog fight. Um, some people didn't like the scoring, the two point deduction. So that would be a good comeback fight for Amir Khan. Maybe he goes after Errol Spence. Maybe he goes after Keith Thurman. The good thing is, just like Golovkin and Jacobs when they fought, it's a it's a way to consolidate the belts because there's too many belts. You know what I mean? Oh, the regular champion, the interim champ. I'm the super champion. So. Him getting rid of that that belt just leaves Keith Thurman as the rightful and true WBA champion and now WBC because he beat Danny Garcia in March. So welterweight's popping. There's some musical chairs and different things going on, some different rumors. We have to see what Al Heyman has in store for all these guys. Sean Porter's fighting Adrian Granados. That fight is telling because the winner of that fight will be in the mix with all these names. So I'm not sure exactly what Lamont Peterson's next move is. I think he should be a little bit more active. He, he's been pretty inactive. I don't think he fought in 2016. He fought in March. I don't know when he's coming back to fight. Maybe he fights Errol Spence in, in December or January. Maybe he fights Keith Thurman or Amir Khan. I don't know. So it'll be interesting. I want to give you guys an update. But the fact of the matter is Lamont Peterson did get rid of his WBA belt. The interim or regular belt that he had from February so I'm anxious he's a quality fighter well to wait is stack let's see how this all unfolds drop your thoughts in the comment section make sure you smash the like button as always hey comment and subscribe till next video is ego signing off so if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video much more to come thank you guys for your support boxing ego the future of boxing.